Hi, this is Presh Talker. In this video, we'll do some advanced examples of multiplying numbers by drawing lines. We'll cover five topics. We'll do an example where the digits are different, another one where it contains the number 9. We'll cover negative numbers, complex and imaginary numbers, and we'll do an example of binary multiplication. Let's say you want to do 122 times 13. We'll draw the 122 as we normally do. And for the 13, we want to make sure that the 3 is aligned on the right. So we'll draw this number by drawing the 3 lines first all the way on the right side. We'll leave some space and we'll draw one line. Now we make our groupings and we'll just count as normal. There are six lines, six dots here, eight dots in the middle, there are five, and one dot. So you can do multiplications where the digits are different, just remember to align the second number starting all the way on the right. Let's do 19 times 11. For the one, we'll draw one line. For the nine, we could draw nine lines but that will get cumbersome and you also end up having to count a lot of dots. So instead, we'll draw one line and to emphasize that it's a nine, we'll draw it in a different color and we'll make it nine times the thickness. Now we draw the other number 11 in the other direction. We'll make our groupings. Here we have one dot, but it's an intersection with the nine line, so it's a big dot and we have to remember that counts for nine. So this one dot is really nine dots. In the middle we have one small dot and one big dot. And the big dot really counts for nine small dots. So we have nine plus one which is ten. On the left side we just have one dot. We will carry this one over and that gives us our answer, 209. Let's say you wanted to do x minus 2y times x minus 3y. We'll draw the x with one line, and for the negative 2y, we'll draw two lines, and we'll just remember that each blue line represents a negative y. For the other number, we'll draw the lines in the other way, and here again we have three lines which are each negative y. We make our groupings. Here we have six dots, and to know what the dots represent, we look at the color of the lines. We have the intersection of two blue lines, and each blue line is a negative y. So we'll have a negative y times a negative y, which is y squared. So that means we have six y squared. In the center we have five dots, and this is the intersection of a black line, which is x, and a blue line which is a negative y. So x times negative y is negative xy and therefore we have negative 5xy. Finally we have one dot which is the intersection of two black lines each of which is x so we'll have an x squared. And that gives us our answer which is x squared minus 5xy plus 6y squared. We can modify this example to show how we can use the same technique for complex numbers. Let's say that y will be equal to the imaginary number i. Our diagram here is exactly the same, except that instead of having a y, we've substituted i. So we'll have x squared, negative 5xi, and 6i squared. When we write our final answer, we just have to remember that i squared is negative 1. So we have x squared minus 5xi minus 6. In our final example, we'll do binary multiplication, which is numbers in base 2. Let's say we want to do 101 times 1, 1. We'll draw one line, leave some space, and draw a zero line and then we'll draw one more line. And for the other number, we'll make sure we start out by drawing the one on the right side, 
and we'll leave some space to draw the other one. We make our groupings. On the right we have one dot. In the next grouping we'll only have one dot. We don't count the intersections of the zero line. In the middle again we have one dot. And on the left we have one dot. And that gives us our answer. So we can actually use this method when we're doing multiplication in base 2. I'll mention that if you do multiplication in base 2, whenever you have two or more dots, you're going to have to carry over, and the rule is slightly different. But you can adapt this method to do base 2 or even any other number base. I hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel. You can also catch me on my blog, Mind Your Decisions, on Twitter at Presh or get my ebooks and Amazon.